In this video, we will show you how to clean the Strico melter after free melting, which is best done at the end of every shift. For your own safety, please wear adequate protective clothing. To clean the furnace shaft, the shaft must be melted empty in the free melting mode. For this, you turn off the melting mode and turn on the free melting mode. Our tip. It is best if the last load before the free melting begins is return material. The tools need to be warmed up and dry, as well as free of oil and grease, before you bring them into contact with the molten material or the wall of the furnace. After free melting is complete, you clean the back wall of the shaft of material residue. Then you evenly spread between half of a kilo and one kilo maximum of drossing flux for every melted ton per hour on the oxide surface with a shovel. You work in the flux with a rake and at the same time separate out the metal. After closing the door, you allow the salt to work. The burners remain off. Subsequently, you clean the walls of the melting chamber. With the scraper, tanny dross or corundum buildup can be removed. This also applies to the passage to the holding chamber and to the ceiling. Finally, you pull the residue, including the flux, through the cleaning door with the rake into the dross container in front of the furnace. Before you begin cleaning in the bath chamber, the measuring instruments in the thermal pocket should be removed. First, you release the plug connection. Remove the fill level electrodes and place them in the provided holding device next to the thermal pocket. You do the same with the thermal couple. Now you just need to remove the cover of the thermal pocket in order to clean the thermal pocket with a scraper. Next, put the cover back on. Next, you clean the bath chamber. Evenly spread half a kilo maximum of drossing flux per ton of bath content with the help of a shovel over the bath surface. You work the flux into the molten material with the cleaning rake. Close the doors and allow the salt to work with the burners off. Then you remove dross and corundum buildup completely from the walls. You move the aluminum oxide from the bath surface over the ramp to the cleaning door and from there finally into the dross container located below. You clean the doors from inside once a week. When the cleaning is finished and the door is closed again, you reinsert the thermocouple and the fill level electrodes and also re-establish the plug connection. To finish, you confirm the disturbance in order to bring the system back into normal operation.